Good evening from the beautiful Central Valley of California. I'm out here in my backyard enjoying a nice cup of carnivore coffee. And if you want to make some, you just simply get black coffee, heavy whipping cream, and you have a delicious uh, beverage. And the great thing that uh, living in Japan taught me, you can drink it cold. It actually tastes very good cold. So hot coffee is not a necessity, especially during the summer. I enjoy a nice, cool uh, caffeine drink. All right. So this evening, what I want to talk about comes from actually book four. I thought I had this marked. Apologize. Okay. All right. So the subject is uh, pulling back from the mainstream media, no matter what it is, left, right, center and shutting off the radio, the talk radio. And I have been guilty of doing that so many times. And typically the reason is I'm being clobbered with information that irritates me and I have to step back. And I do so intentionally so I can take a break and focus on what is near and dear to my heart, my family. Not the cats, they belong to my wife and my daughter. Um, so when you pull back though, uh, what does that mean? And I really had to, uh, I found this when I was reading, uh, through the Emperor's Handbook. And I want to read to you here in a minute what Marcus Aurelius had to say about being engaged in world affairs for information. So without really recognizing it, I was sacrificing information and accepting ignorance by pulling back. And by doing so, sometimes for a week or two or even a month, I may have re recharged my internal battery. And then before you know, I broke that long fasting of disinformation or no information, and I've turned the, the channels back on, only to become clobbered again after a break and willing to endure what I was hearing. Um, but when you, I realized that when you uh, choose ignorance over information, no matter how sour that information might be, that truly is a huge mistake and not a very good thing to do. So what I have tried to do is just be a better filter. Now, by that I don't mean filtering ideologies. What I mean is understanding what the agenda is from any news source, left, right, center. And once you understand what the agenda is, all information is agenda driven. Okay. Uh, any example you can throw out there, except for the weather report. Now, when they start talking about global warming in a weather report, yeah, that's agenda driven. But by and large, uh, the vast majority of information on the mainstream media and talk radio is agenda driven. And channels that we choose to listen to um, soothe our ideology, right? And we're like a fan in the stands that are cheering for the news that we're listening to. And that can be very dangerous. Uh, imagine a world where nobody tuned into the opposing side. And no matter how crazy they, they might sound, no, everybody tuned it out. And you're walking around in your information bubble that has been uh, fed to you um, so that you go along with the mainstream, right? That's a very dangerous thing. So I do make it a effort to listen to left, right, and center. And that allows me to form my own opinion on whatever the topic might be. Now, my opinion stems from my ideology. Very rarely uh, will anyone ever change my mind. You know, 
the only way I can change my mind is if I have been ignorant on a subject. And by ignorance, that means you do not have the information or you have been withheld uh, the information or the information where, uh, where you get your news from flat out lied to you, right? And then when you find out the truth, then I can change my opinion. And that goes through a, a process of logic and reason and how we process information. So rather than stepping back from the news, uh, I have decided to just improve my filter. And uh, all that is is understanding the agenda and being able to tune in to sour information, information that might get under your skin. It's important to understand why they are saying what they are saying and uh, how, because that information is really feeding their base. So it will allow you or it allows me to better understand where people are coming from without placing a judgment on them. Rather, you place a judgment on the information that they are being given. So let me go ahead and read this from um, the Emperor's Handbook. This comes from, hold on here. Okay, here we go. This comes from book four, and this is paragraph 29. The man who fails to understand what goes on in the world is as much a stranger to the world as he who is ignorant of how the world is made. He is a fugitive running from the law, a blind man whose eyes cannot see reason, a beggar leaning on others and incapable of standing on his own feet, a push duel on the face of the earth because he has separated himself from the reasonable law that holds the world together by declaring his displeasure with this or that and forgetting that he too is a this or that. An amputated body part severed from the fellowship of all rational souls, one and indivisible. So there, there you go, right? If we choose to shut the information off, if we choose to disengage from the world on any level, it could be, I'm not gonna vote anymore because it's a, it's a corrupt system. Well, sure, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you have, have the information. Okay, what makes you believe that? And is that information accurate? Is it true? For me, if I decide not to vote for president, it's not going to affect anything because I live in a blue state, a winner-take-all electoral college. So I could actually not vote and it's not going to make one iota of a difference for president because of the popular, the popular vote does not mean anything. It's a number, right? So does that, is that enough to stop me from voting? Well, it remains to be seen, right? Because a vote, essentially by casting a vote, even though you know it is not going to change anything, uh, only reaffirms and establishes your convictions as a informed person. So for that reason, you know, I will be voting, uh, which is, uh, you know, a, probably a very good example of how everything works, right? If you have, uh, you have to have a say, you have to uh, let the system know that you're engaged because once the system sees that you have fallen away, uh, then they win, right? So, and in a country where we have citizens, okay, we do, not, we do not have slaves, we do not have subjects. Everybody is a citizen, and the citizen has power over government, and that power is in the vote. So, uh, yeah, stay engaged, uh, keep your, your ears open, tune into information that might sour the year without allowing it to sour the soul. And for no other reason to understand uh, the other side politically, 
because that will open the door to conversation. So, uh, and meaningful, constructive conversation, not the arguing back and forth that it seems we easily fall into. That concludes this topic. This is the Cold War Sailor. Enjoy your evening out.